In this three minute tutorial, we're going to create a custom category layout using Oxygen Builder. We're in the template section for WooCommerce. We'll add new template and we'll call that Archive and we'll make it for the hoodies. Add the main header and footer. Head over to Archive, the taxonomy. We know that it's going to be hoodies so we can select that and then we give it a priority of one so that it overrides the default template and we hit publish that's saved we'll edit with oxygen oxygen is loading oxygen is loaded let's make sure we're in the right place so yes we're in hoodies that's the only option because we selected that category let's add a page structure Let's add a section and in that section we'll go down to WooCommerce and we'll add a product list. Product list is loaded. Let's have a look. Product query, we'll leave it on the default query. The layout, we can center the content and in this case we'll just make it for three columns. We've only got three products. The heading, let's change the color of the heading. So let's make the heading blue. Let's give it a font weight of 500. Right, let's move on. Let's go to images. Maybe we want to give our images a border. So in this case, let's make it a black border. Let's make it solid. And let's give it a border width of five. There we have our border. Let's have a look at a box shadow. Maybe we want to give our images a box shadow. Let's leave it at black, but let's give it say a 20%. Transparency, we'll make that 20, 20, 20. That'll elevate them nicely off the page. Let's have a look at links, which is the name of the product. We'll make that, uh, that red. We'll make the font size 20. Right, we're happy with that. We'll then go to the price. Let's make the current price Let's make that a little bit bigger, um, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. And let's make it a font weight of 500. We'll leave it at black. And then let's have a look at the main buttons and the background color there, we'll make it red. And when hovered, we'll make it dark red. Right, and the last thing that we'll do there in the typography is we'll make that font size much bigger. And we'll hit save. Successfully customize that category look and feel within three minutes. Go over to the front end. That's what it looks like with the default settings. And with the added formatting, it now changes to what we created. There we have it. So that is the new hoodies page. And let's go and have a look at the rest of the shop. If we go back to the shop page, you'll see that it looks completely different. Great, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you for watching.